Almost all mid to high end modern mountain bikes come with hydraulic disc brakes, but you can still find cable actuated mechanical disc brakes on older and lower end models. While all of us would probably agree that hydraulic brakes are better, I decided to test out how much better they really are with a highly scientific and accurate braking test. Yeah, I have a 12 foot tape measure. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take longer to stop than that. Uh, I'm gonna start back maybe two of these football field lines um, from a dead stop, just pedal and stop as quickly as possible. Sorry, my face is all sideways and in the camera. Cobra Kyle presents answering the hard hitting questions no one is asking. A couple weeks ago, we took a look at my new fat bike that came with Tektro Spike mechanical brakes. They performed decently, but I quickly found a used set of Shimano Dior's and felt compelled to swap them. Before we install the hydraulic brakes, let's see how quickly the mechanicals stop. All right, so here we are at the 40 yard line. You should be able to hear me. You'll see me way back here in the distance. Uh, I think I'm getting more than five pedals in. I'm getting about six, so that'll be the, that'll be the standard, I guess. Uh, so here we go, take one. Come on. Oh. I was about 12 feet. The track standing at the 40 yard line. Oh, it's so impressive. Here we go. Okay. Uh, it's like 11 and a half. Alrighty. Take a quick moment to rest. Breaks over. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Ooh. I think I braked a little late. <laughs> I'm not good at this. One, two. All right. I think it's just gonna be 11 feet. Uh, I'm gonna try one where I lock it up. Here we go. Ten feet. Oh wow. That was a good one. That was like eight feet. Now we can install the new brakes, which went pretty well until I had to bleed them. A big thank you to Brian and Bob for bleeding them for me when I completely screwed it up. Back to my secret filming location to test out the new brakes. Oh yeah, nine feet on the first attempt. While my new brake set did come with larger rotors, I decided to do this test on the stock 160 millimeter rotors as to not skew the results. Okay, about nine feet. Track stand, go, one. Dang, we're pretty consistent here, nine feet. I'm pleased with those numbers. I honestly thought it would only be like a foot better or something, but we're looking at two to three feet. That doesn't sound like a lot, that's a major difference. Uh, and these are on the same rotors. Nine feet again, all right. <laughs> Let's see if I just slam on him, if uh, that does anything different. <laughs> oh. Seven feet. Seven feet if I just lock him up. That's, uh, that's impressive. One, two. <laughs> yeah. Seven feet. I'm gonna start back even further. We'll do the 50 yard line instead of the 40. Uh, and we'll see if I can still stop quicker than the mechanical brakes. Track stand, go, one. <laughs> I 
All right, I was going much faster. And I stopped in the same distance as the mechanical brakes from the slower speed, so. Uh, what more evidence do you need if I'm gonna track stand and tell the results? So, yeah, I really like the mechanicals, or I'm sorry, the hydraulics. They're far superior. Um, so yeah, I guess we kind of expected those results, if you know anything about brakes. Um, but I had to see for myself. All right, I'm gonna go home. I rode with the Tektros for around three months, and I have to say they exceeded my expectations. I would normally assume that mechanical brakes are cheap garbage, but these proved otherwise. I was also kind of surprised to see how much they cost. They're far more expensive than I would have imagined. In this example, for $90 you get a caliper and a rotor with no lever. Or for 63, you can get a hydraulic caliper and lever with no rotor. Even though I didn't hate the Tektros, if you have the opportunity to get the hydraulics, I suggest doing so. The main difference for me was I had to use two fingers to pull the mechanical lever, and I only have to use one finger on the hydraulic. I hope this sheds some light on the stopping differences between mechanical and hydraulic disc brakes. I think the results speak for themselves, and that this is a worthy upgrade, especially on a heavier bike like this fat bike. Thank you so much for watching, and until next week, stay rowdy within reason. Uh, and I also put my wallet at the end of the tape measure, so we shouldn't be having any issues with it blowing around. My wallet's so fat from all that YouTube ad revenue, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding, I don't make a dime doing this. But that's okay, I enjoy it.